All right, guys, Mr. Antonucci here, and we're back with a video on how to use just some introductory things, the TI-83 calculator. And this also will work for a handheld TI-83 or TI-84, any of those additions. So first thing you want to do, obviously, is turn the calculator on. If your screen already has some stuff there, you can clear the screen. What we're most concerned with in this video is how to use the graphing calculator to actually produce a graph. Now the buttons down here kind of self-explanatory. You have your typical uh, division, multiplication, subtraction, and so forth and so on. I want to draw particular attention to this key, which is the minus symbol in this, or the negative symbol, excuse me, misspoke there, and this key, which is the negative, or the subtraction symbol, I'm reversing them. It is very important that you are clear on which one you're using. Notice how they come up differently. The negative symbol is a little bit higher and shorter, and the minus symbol is a little bit lower and longer. I'll explain more about that in a minute. In order to graph a function or an equation, you have to hit the Y equals menu. And then I already had some equations in there. You can just scroll down and hit clear on those. Also, sometimes some of these plots might be highlighted like this. We use that in statistics whenever we're plotting scatter plots and bar graphs and those kinds of things. You want to make sure those are off because sometimes those will mess up your graph, even if you've entered everything correctly in the equations and the window settings are all right. If you have something in plots, it could throw it off. So all you do is push the up arrow, highlight this, hit enter, and then it should unhighlight it. And that will turn it off, so to speak. So I want to show you an example here. If I have uh, to enter the equation x plus 1, y equals x. Here's the, the variable key. There's an x, a t, a theta, and an n. It's just going to come up as x uh, plus 2. Enter that. And then I'm going to enter the equation um, x squared minus 2x minus four. Okay. Now, notice to get this to be x squared, I hit this little x squared button here. Be careful, this is x to the negative one, you don't want to hit that. If you need to enter any other exponent on your x or on a number, anything like that, you type it in, hit the little caret button here, and you can put in any exponent you want. I wouldn't recommend putting in 51 there. Okay, notice how when you enter an equation, it automatically highlights the equal sign. That means the equation is turned on and the graph will graph it. Now, you might be tempted to hit graph, but before you hit graph, I want you to do something first. I want you to hit zoom and then scroll down to number six. What this does is tells the calculator, if you hit enter now, it will graph the equation in a standard viewing window that goes from negative 10 to positive 10 on the x and y axes. Okay, then you can zoom in or out by hitting zoom and then one, zoom and then two, and then zoom six can bring you back to that standard viewing window. Don't worry about the other zoom functions for now. We may get into those later. Another thing I want to show you is window settings. So this, you can manually force the window to be whatever you want it to be. So if I hit negative 20, enter um, 20, this is going to automatically adjust the x-axis to go from negative 20 to 20 instead of negative 10 to 10. Okay, notice how the x-axis is a little bit wider and it changed the way the graphs look. Okay, now once you do that, if you want to go back to the original viewing window, you would just hit zoom 6 takes you back to the original viewing window. Now, if I go back to window and I put minus here accidentally instead of 10, or excuse me, instead of negative, it's going to say there's an error. If I hit two, it's going to take me to where the calculator thinks the error is. And what happened is I told the calculator to put minus 10 instead of negative 10. If I change that, I should be fine. Same thing happens with the equations. Let me just show you real quick something. If I do negative 3x and I graph that, it looks like this. 
Okay. If I do um, x minus three like this, it's going to graph it like that. Now, if I type in x negative three, that's not the same thing. With the, how the calculator reads that is it thinks it's x times negative three. Now watch, it's not going to be the same thing as x minus three. It's a different line. So the negative symbol, the negative key and the minus key do not tell the calculator the same thing. I've had students year after year switch them up and make mistakes doing that. Okay, so just be aware of that. So if we go back to the Y equals menu, clear those out. And then to get out of the Y equals menu, you just hit second mode, second mode, which would be quit. And it brings you back to the home screen where you can do normal calculations. All right, guys, hope that was helpful in getting you to be able to graph a, an equation using the graphing calculator, as well as adjust the window settings and then actually see what the graph looks like. All right, Mr. Antonucci signing off here. Take care.